Hi, Justin. <gasps> oh, did you just... What did you do? Dukes of Hazard, mate. That's what I did right there. Did? Mate, I should have blown a Dixie horn or going over that hill. It seems we're on a bit of a video spree recently, but that's perfectly okay. Welcome yourselves to the Battle Pass vehicle, the first one that you can get access to if you buy into the Battle Pass. Is it worth it? Hell yes, this thing is an utterly fantastic moon buggy. It does kind of look like a moon buggy, doesn't it? Or the hamburger wagon? Not entirely sure, but as you see by the thumbnail, I've got a, a garage that makes me look like I'm in the moon. Anyway, modifications wise, it does get M79 shot, and there is M62 shell as well, which is your armor piercing uh, stuff. That being said though, crew of four, rank three, battle rating 4.7, and as you can see here, there's not much really to show of here. It's an incredibly low profile vehicle, however your crew stick out a fair bit, there is no protection for them whatsoever, and it has no armour at all. The thickest armour you will get is on the gun steel, and obviously on the structural steel for the gun itself, and the breech, and what have you. But my goodness me, it is one funky looking vehicle, and it certainly does belong on the moon, wouldn't you say so? That's perfectly okay, but the real downside is there's no coaxial machine gun or anything like that. A very light vehicle that can do quite well off-road, it seems to be a bit of a tragic case of this thing being an absolute bust turn. The front two driving wheels actually turn the vehicle. As you can see here, rank 15 for the Battle Pass. Funny looking machine. I like this thing quite a lot, it's, it's something else and I guess it's unique in a way, but it's like the American version of the Pack Puma, so to speak. That being said though, it is kind of limited at what it can do. I will say, in the right circumstance and on the right hands, this machine is utterly glorious and I like it for that important reason. It's something funny and, and definitely worthwhile in, uh, getting if you like collecting vehicles like I do. Anyway, let's jump into a few matches and we'll show you what it's about. Now, this vehicle is so much fun I had to enlist the help of an actual professional tanker, that being Mr. Justin Plays TV and his friend Ranger. So here we are, there is another boy with us, the T-55. You make all the memes about this thing being a horse-drawn carriage, because it certainly looks like that, I can tell you that much. This thing is immense fun. There's no doubt about it, and there are four of us rushing towards a point here. But uh, there's single cap this time, singular cap so that we don't have to worry about too much. We know that most of the enemies will be over this direction. And the gun traverse and elevation is abysmal for this particular vehicle. The driver sits literally right beside the gun there, and the commander is limited to a periscope at the front. Not too much to speak of. And the two loaders sit comfortably in reclining chairs behind behind you. I mean, it looks incredibly funny. But anyway, all four of us are rushing towards the A point. We're going to drop artillery down as a bit of cover. And again, please guys, go check out Justin Plays TV. He's a fantastic bloke. We had so much fun playing this one. Unfortunately, the live commentary of this particular uh, match was too quiet and I was a bit obnoxiously loud as per usual, so I had to fix some audio settings. But already capturing A point, we're already getting artillery. That's okay, if you can see over the hill there, there are lots of tanks moving in the field. You can sort of see I get my squad marker ping up. You see that? KV-1s and all sorts of things. Get a hit on a Z-25, I believe that is. What is that, the Chinese AAA? Oh, too low, let's go a little bit higher. Already contact is a bit of an issue. My driver is taken out, but that KV-1C completely doesn't know what hit him. Unfortunately, our 255E1 friend got absolutely nailed. That's the second kill, another KV-1. What's next? Another vehicle, and, and, and in this kind of hull down position, we are in a fantastic spot for just taking out enemies where they sit. Now, I dunked that shot. I was going to actually aim a proper shot towards that guy. Looks to be another KV-1. Let's see if we can get an actual decent hit on him. Bounce. We bounced right off the side skirts just above the track there. Aim in again. And do we get lucky? Nope. We've got another bounce. Oh, he takes out our gun. I'm going to put one shot towards him. Oh, never mind. Ranger actually goes and kills an ASU-57. While they're holding that flank, I'm shooting off some of the people around the side. Now, duck below the, the ridge line there and ask Ranger kindly for a bit of a repair. Justin, just killing an SU-85, I asked Ranger to come back and help me with a repair. It seems that this thing takes any worthy hit and gets completely and utterly damaged. That being said, if you saw the intro clip, 
<laughs> this thing is incredibly fun to take over meadows and hills, etc, etc. Now, Justin is taking out another Panzer IV. I'm going to bravely and climb up to this point over here. Look how many vehicles there are. There's at least three or four. I'm going to take out this flat Panzer. Yeah, oh, Panzer IV. Jager Panzer. Pull back because there's a bit of machine gun fire. Just double check the scoreboard. Justin and Ranger both taking out a Marta III and a KV-85. We're on teamwork times six. There is a T-34. Now, I've got to aim the, sh the shell here. And gun stabilized. There we go. Teamwork times seven. Justin kills a KV-1C, and I get that T-34. Heaps of kills. We are basically pushing them back from attacking the A point. And that's a good thing. Long range out that direction. There's another KV. We all miss. All right. <laughs> Aim too high because we're on a bit of a point here. When we realize, oh, there's a few more vehicles down this way. And Justin yells, help. So off to the rescue we go. Going to drop some artillery down in the occupation zones of where some of the enemies have been spotted on the map. He's like, there is a KV down there. Unbeknownst to him, he doesn't know that there's a heap of vehicles in this sort of hollow. I'm not going to be able to get a shot off on that KV. It was worth a try. But as you can see, this thing takes a long time to sort of settle down. I'm going to go up behind this wreck of a vehicle over here. And as you can see, the undulations around the area, as he sees, he's pointed out a couple of vehicles. Poor little Stug. We'll nail him. Goodbye. There goes the Stug F. My gunner gets taken out. I don't know what by. That's perfectly okay. Something takes out those vehicles in that distance area. I can't really see them from this position. I couldn't really see them at the point there at all. They've already been taken out, so it's okay. Now, there's this KV that's just sitting down here. Let's take him out. There we go. Beautiful. And then, that is professional time of six. Let's see if we can go get this whirlwind as well. Absolutely demolishing the team right now. Unfortunately, we only get a critical hit. And as you can see... In the right areas, in a squad, doing the right things, you can easily get an objective pinned down. I find that this vehicle really struggles penetrating anything with decent armor. Like, for example, that headset got completely, you know, ruined. And I just got absolutely done by a whirlwind. The magic in itself isn't the fact that this vehicle is any good. No, the platform itself is fine. However, the vehicle does struggle a little bit when it's in an urban environment, and particularly when there's narrow sort of areas to maneuver around. I feel like an open map like this would fit the vehicle so much more and benefit a bit more. You know, I can get away with an urban environment with my Pack Puma and several other, uh, you know, wheeled boys, but because at least they have decent, you know, gun traverse, so you can actually sort of clutch shot and do those kind of things but i do think that this vehicle in itself is uniquely novel and, and placed at such a point where even if we are doing really well it kind of lacks any sort of protection and any sort of viability to be used in a correct sort of you know function however it's incredible strength with its 76 mil gun is incredibly powerful provided you're hitting stuff that is lightly armored and that really is the key there you choose what to shoot and oftentimes you don't have that choice. But anyway, here we are in a BTD. We're going to drop a seam on. So yes, this vehicle is incredibly fun. But it's limited in what it can do. It really doesn't have any protection. It has a decent amount of you know, performance off-road and on-road. But in itself, it's not something that I would recommend unless you really want to collect a unique vehicle per se. And it's really sort of limited. Even myself as a non-tanker did really well here, but that's because we had all the vehicles in an open field and they were just picking off you know, vehicle after vehicle. And I have a question for those of you who do own this particular tank. Do you like it? Are you having fun with it? Or is it incredibly hard to play? Because I know that playing it is really subject to the map and condition you have. Rip anything with snow because you'll necessarily you know, become useless. And any desert map will probably won't serve you too well either. That being said though, I've had immense fun and I hope you enjoyed today's video because that's all we got today. But we'll be back with some more content and hopefully there'll be a dev server soon so I can do another dev server video because I actually enjoyed doing that one. Anyway, regardless, go check out Justin and his video will probably be a little more entertaining. I'll leave that somewhere. Uh, I'll maybe I'll pin it in the comments when his video goes up. But nonetheless... Eight kills, not bad actually. 100,000 silver lion, not bad there either. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that other bullshit. And I'll see you in the next one. Right, cheerio.